Let's go through the setup of the TDR2010. There are two kinds of setup. One is the general setup, where general preferences are chosen. You will not have to do this often, and perhaps you'll only have to do it once. The other is the setup that you do often, perhaps for each cable. Let's consider the first, the general one. Get to the screen that shows the soft keys on the left and the bottom soft key next to the wrench icon. It is on the startup screen, but if you are on another screen and it is not visible, press the OK button on the upper right and then, if necessary, the back button on the right near the bottom. Press the soft key next to the wrench icon. Press the soft key next to the icon with the three gears icon. This results in a vertical row of icons down the middle of the display. We navigate between these icons with the up and down arrows of the navigation group. For each icon, we navigate among the choices with the left and right arrows of the navigation group. Our choices are the speaker icon, which we can turn on or off. The timeout icon, which allows us to select how long after a keystroke the TDR2010 will wait before turning itself off. The choices are 1 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or never. The unit of distance measure, which is feet, meters, or nanoseconds. How the velocity of propagation is expressed. The choices are ratio, meters per microsecond, and feet per microsecond. We commonly use ratio, which is the ratio of the speed of light in our cable under test to the speed of light in a vacuum, which is a decimal less than 1.0. The next is the four colored circles icon, where we choose the color palette on the screen. Rotate between several choices which are Custom 1, Custom 2, Default, Outdoor, and several schemes. There are some extra things to note here. You can make up as many color combinations as you want. When you pick one of the custom or scheme choices, you can push the soft key next to the painter's palette and get several hundred colors from which to choose. When you arrange a scheme that you like, press either the Custom 1 or Custom 2 button, and that scheme will become the one that you selected. The important thing to note here is the outdoor screen that is very useful in bright sunlight. It is very easy to get by using the left and right arrows of the navigation group. The next choice is the sun icon that varies the contrast. The choices are from 1 to 10, with 1 being the darkest and 10 being the brightest. The bottom icon is the globe and is used to select the language of the displays. When these general preferences are set, press either the OK button or the back button. 